things you get me into. If it weren't for seagrass, I wouldn't be doing this. Only two years ago, we've gone from a single, one or two single plants to 25 shoots. Those flowers have gone in, it's so nice to see something coming back. I read about this project about a year ago. It got quite a lot of news at the time because it's the first seagrass restoration project of its kind in the UK. Uh, seagrass used to be really, really common and we've lost something like 92% of it over the last hundred or so years. It's just this amazing species that ticks so many boxes. Seagrass is this amazing ecosystem, well known for its abilities to capture carbon 35 times faster than a pristine tropical rainforest. Not only that, it supports so much life from crabs and shrimp all the way up to dogfish and dolphins coming into the bay to feed. We're in a climate emergency and the motivation where I was like, I have to do something about this, I have to try and help. We need to act now. We can't just wait until someone says, maybe we should do something. How many amazing things it does for us. This is something that needs shouting about. This is something that everyone should know about. We've been out today looking at our new seagrass meadow and checking out how the life is growing and developing six, seven months on from planting. Just green. Okay, so we actually should be in, in the middle of the line right now. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. Can you add? I'm so happy. Have you got a... Look, I, I know it's only one piece, but I'm just so happy. I was apprehensive earlier saying that we might not find anything too big because I don't want to get myself too excited, but this is, this is exactly what we'd hoped for. So this is a, a mature, healthy plant. Only two years ago, we've gone from one or two single plants to, yeah, 25 shoots. Even if you don't find anything else today, I'm happy. So that is a, that is <laughs> a bit amazing. of a success. Absolutely. Isn't it Absolutely. amazing how nature can just revive itself if we just give it a little help and then stay out of the way? That's 100%. That's 100% yeah. success. As I was saying earlier, we've only done a really small part to play in this. The seagrass has done the rest of it. By working with seagrass, by working with this natural system, it's a win-win for everybody. There's no real downside. We're not planting an alien invasive species or doing anything which is going to harm the environment. We're doing work which is going to enhance it and make it a, a better marine space for everybody well into the future. We've got a netted dog whelk and not netted dog whelk eggs just on the seagrass. Already? Yeah, so, so it's already created a habitat for life down here. As much as we also need to put pressure on our governments, it's those day-to-day -day changes that are going to make the big difference. This whole bay would have been full of seagrass at one point, but things like poor water quality, poor water management generally in the haven. We can think about what we're putting down our drain, whether that's making sure we swap to eco-friendly toilet cleaners and washing up liquids, because all of those are going to go down the drain and out into our oceans, affecting our marine life, affecting our seagrass meadows. There is good news projects. Every day you hear about someone else that's also joining the fight or making those small day-to-day -day changes. Volunteers from three-year-olds to 90-year-olds come and help us on this project. Over in that patch, we've got 750,000 seeds out now. And this winter, we'll get the final 250,000 to make up a million. And hopefully that'll be the last little boost it needs to get it there. Tammy and I are both already in love with seagrass. Oh. I'm just so excited to come back to our restoration site and start to see how that develops and builds into hopefully a really big and flourishing thick meadow. So thick that I might lose you if I went for a dive in it. That would be incredible. And hopefully this is just the beginning. <laughs>